here. Did you feel joy when you read this passage today? You should have. This is really one of the only times in scripture that God gets his due. I'm going to read it for you. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them out on the road. The crowds that went ahead of them and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the Son of God, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest heaven. The people were gathered and they were celebrating God for who he is in the form of Jesus. They recognize him as king. They have a giant party, essentially, to welcome him into their city. And we know what's to come. This is the happiest moment in Jesus' story. And it's about to get very sad. And it's good that we think of that during Holy Week. But today, I want you to live in the joy of this moment and feel it. Point out a couple things of interest as we go through this scripture. The first is the palm branches themselves. Now, did you know that palm branches are actually a symbol of victory? And so these palm branches that they were carrying, they may not have even realized how appropriate they were. Jesus was soon to win victory over death forever. Here they use them as celebration, but they had no idea how much celebration lay ahead. Second, we have this word Hosanna. This word was used to express joy or adoration, and it was certainly appropriate to be saying it with Jesus in their midst. But this word actually means help us or save us. Again, this choice made by the people in the city of Jerusalem was part of their custom, but they had no idea that these customs had been waiting the whole time for Jesus to come. They get life in this moment, Hosanna and the palm branches, because the King of Kings is in front of them and he deserves these words and actions. Church, tomorrow's Good Friday, and together we'll all be walking through that heaviness. But today my challenge for you is to be one of the people in the city of Jerusalem, to recognize God for who he is and feel joy today, knowing that victory is coming.